It's a major milestone event that is being held in Hyderabad. Live visuals now coming in. Chief of Naval Staff Admiral R. Hari Kumar is flagging of the first indigenously manufactured Drishti 10 star liner UAV for the Indian Navy. Well, this is a sophisticated state of the art uh, UAV and it marks a significant step towards our strategic autonomy as well as technological leadership in combat proven and indigenized advanced aerial system. The flag of ceremony is taking place at Adani Airspace uh, Park in Hyderabad. Adani Defense and Aerospace is building capabilities to help build a secure nation by achieving self-reliance in defense security and also taking a global leadership position in the sector. Those are live visuals coming in at this point in time from the ceremony that is taking place at the Adani Aerospace Park in Hyderabad. The Navy will be getting its first India-made Starliner drone today. This is a sophisticated state-of-the-art UAV that the Navy will get today and it marks a significant step towards our strategic autonomy and also our uh, technological leadership in many areas. Well, my colleague Uma Sudhir is also now joining us on the broadcast, getting us more on this. The Uma, a big day today, Navy all set to get its first India-made Starliner drone today. Yes, Sadi, the unveiling of the uh, Starliner Prishti 10 has just been done by the uh, Naval Chief uh, Admiral uh, uh, Ari Kumar and uh, he's just now inspecting and in fact posing uh, before the cameras uh, uh, along with this very, uh, uh, you know, sophisticated unmatched aerial vehicles. That is the first private uh, such manufactured UAV to be dedicated uh, to the Indian Navy and to be handed over. And what we understand is that this is something that's going to be taken from Hyderabad to Port Bandar and will be put into naval uh, maritime operations uh, uh, immediately. Uh, what we do yeah, know yeah. is that this is a uh, medium altitude, long endurance uh, drone with uh, 36 hours endurance in 450 kg of payload. And it's also something that's cleared uh, for all weather military uh, platform with uh, NATO Stag 9. That's a certification that you get for, uh, uh, you know, UAV systems airworthiness. And that's something that uh, the Drishti 10 Starliner has got. So what we know now is that uh, uh, for towards an Atmanirbhar Bharat and Atmanirbhar skies is what uh, the uh, the Adani's UAV vehicle uh, is representing for India with its indigenous uh, capability that is uh, helping India build its self-reliance in the different systems, especially for the Indian Navy. Back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Uma, for bringing us all those details there. Uh, well, it's uh, definitely being seen as a big push to make in India and our self-reliance in defense as well as aerospace. Uh, well, this is a major milestone event that is being held. And uh, the Chief of Naval Staff, Admiral R. Hari Kumar, seen on the uh, stage there, has just recently flagged off uh, our first indigenously manufactured Drishti 10 Starliner UAV for the Indian Navy.